My name is Marcus, and this is my fourth podcast. Today, I'm with Ms. Shea. Ms. Shea, would you like to tell me a little bit about yourself? Hi. Hello, hello everyone. I'm Ms. Shea. I'm Marcus' um, Chinese teacher last year. So I, um, I teach Chinese in the Harris High School. And so. So what have you been doing during quarantine? Um, during good. Pretty much um, the last few months, I stay home most of the time. And um, I stay with my family and my kids. Uh, we all stay home. And every day, um, I will try to go out to take a walk around the house. So we all, I try to walk like 5,000 steps every day. And um, so basically, just stay home, do some reading, go on the internet. Um, Learning the new techniques for teaching, it's fun to learning a new things, especially technician. And then, uh, yeah, so it, yeah, it's kind of a peaceful and uh, busy. Yes. So how about you, Marcus? Um, I'm good. <laughs> Building on my Instagram account, I've been playing the viola, cooking, and dancing. Um, it's fun for me because I'm able to step out of my comfort zone and share with others the people, um, the joy that I experience with all these activities I do. And it's really fun. And yeah, I hope to continue um, working on it. Yes, yeah, I so many kids like to do, like it's very good. It's like the channel do video, even like for us, we we'll do like I want to do some short sort of videotape, like a video to to show people what we think, what we're doing. So it's nice to share in, in this quarantine time. Mm -hmm. So how else do you stay well during um, these times? And like, like what, what foods do you eat? Or like, um, what do you do to keep your time busy? <laughs> Yeah, um, I think it is quarantine time really like a, I, I really slow down, finally slow down and uh, we can uh, spend more time with the family, spend more time on cooking. So I can cook some Chinese dish which take a longer time and I do learn some baking. It's fun to learn different kind of cooking. Also, during this time, we really now we pay like a, put our eyes outside of the house or outside of the um, electronics, which really like, because we, we now we go outside more than ever. So I, I can see more in the nature. I love the nature. So I can see the birds in my backyard on the street. They one time there's a, a robin birds have the nest on the tree and have the land the egg, have the babies there. So I starting to see those nature and I can see those uh, fireflies when I walk outside, you know, when I take a walk after dinner. And also now I have a three chicken in my backyard, which my neighbor give me as a pet. So it is very cute. So we now would like to realize like a, as a human, we are not only, you know, live in the, you know, in the, how I say, the, live within the house or within the electronic world or internet. So when we go out to the nature, we really see a very beautiful of our nature, the beauty of our nature. That's nice. That's, nice. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I think that recently, like I, I have been talking with my friends, so now, you know, we do more exercise, we go out more, so that's why. Yeah, it's very, so you should. Did you go out, take a walk, do exercise? Yeah. 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 Yesterday, um, volleyball with some of my friends. It was fun, since I haven't played with them in a while. I know, that's why I, I, I try to also keep my kids out of the house, you know, as much as I can. So they go out. If not the quarantine, you always stay home in front of the computer, in front of the video game. It's not healthy. Yeah. yeah. It's good to go outside, get some fresh air. Yeah. And then sometimes social interaction with your friends, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's good. Continue. What are some activities you like to do to like unwind or like relax? Mm, 
if I relax, I will listen to the music. I want to. I like to listen to some um, like a uh, jazz music, calm music, and also sometimes I like to watch a movie or TV drama, you know, Chinese TV drama. You know, I watch those that too. So those are um, at the time, you know, and read books. So read books, they make me calm down too. So. Yeah, pretty. Like at the, you know, you stay home, you know, the, not that much, summertime, there's not that much work. So it's a very relaxed. How about you? What did you do to relax? Um, I, I listen to music and I like to dance too. Like when I'm yeah. just feeling like out of it or just like a little bit um, stressed, something like that. That's nice. Did you listen to some Chinese music or watch some Chinese movie this week, this summer? Uh, yeah, I, I have. Um, I've been watching, um, what is it, the Back to the Field one, the Chinese mm. show. Um, it's like, like they, they cook, they, they gather like food from the, their farm and then they like, they just like talk and then it's just like, it's, it's a kind of like fast like to understand, but it's it's cool to listen to. Yeah, you can see all oh, that that show like they, they go to the field, they have like a like a, maybe we call gym life, they go the out build, you know, they have a nice like a the the they have the house in the village, right? That show, right? Yeah. And they get, yeah. That's very nice. We own we want to have a house in the village and have a beautiful view, beautiful view, and then we can collect the food to cook. That would be very nice. Yeah. yeah, that's what we started. I started, I plant um, tomato and scallion in my backyard. And when I cook it, it's so much fun to just go to the backyard, pick them, or cut a scallion to go with the egg. It's so much fun and it's organic. Yeah. So you see human society, they really want to go back to the traditional, you know, life, the nature life, yeah. Yeah, I also grow tomatoes, basil, rosemary. So those are some of the stuff I grow in my backyard. And it's just fun to cook with them and like enjoy fresh foods. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It, it, what it's are, very good. What are like your top top three favorite foods to eat? Top three favorite food? Um, I like so many. Of course, the first one is Chinese food, different kinds of Chinese food, authentic Chinese food, spicy one. Um, second one, uh, it's a very, I like so many. Um, maybe Japanese, I like sushi a lot. Sashimi, sushi, I like, love a lot. And the one, maybe, um, I don't know, Italian, I don't eat that much spaghetti, maybe some Mexico, I, you know, maybe French, I don't eat that much, it's fancy and uh, it, it looks nice. So most most likely I love uh, Asian food and the food with the rice, every, yeah. So that's why my, I eat it, yeah. But I know the kids, they don't like rice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is one of your like, <laughs> foods you like to eat like in Chinese cuisine? Oh, Chinese cuisine, the Sichuan, Sichuan uh, cuisine, the one with the spicy, very hot and spicy, the hapa one. Yeah, I like, I love hapa a lot. Hapa is my favorite. And uh, the Chinese one, and also my hometown one, uh, my hometown is the Hainan Island, the tropical area, all the way to the South Sea, you know, not, and we have a lot of seafood. And then the fresh seafood is my favorite. Um, and the third one, I will say um, the um, San Si, you know, the, on the west side, some, some uh, where you can see the tobacco army, tobacco, um, the uh, San Si, San Si, the, on the west side, yeah. Mm -hmm. so I love those, yeah, Chinese food. Oh, good. I haven't go out for a while, you know, <laughs> because the restaurant closed. Yeah. How about you? Um, my favorite food? Mm -hmm. Um, I just like like um any noodles like nyo nyo ro mian or like nyo ro mian, yeah. La mian. Um la mian. Mm -hmm. Type of like noodle dish I like to enjoy. Um 
yeah i've been to japan and the ramen there was like really good so like every time i have ramen like i always have like flashbacks of japan and yeah I, honestly like i miss i miss traveling <laughs> Tommy, <laughs> yeah, that's just good too. I I love the, you know, I love the ramen too. Uh huh. Very yeah. It's cause I I do love ramen and the Japanese one is very good. I heard it, but I never really go there. I I wish one day I plan to go to Japan this year, but you know can't travel. Mm. Mm -hmm. So that's why yeah, very nice food. Mm, so so when you at home, what kind of cuisine do you cook? Um, like you say, you cook a lot. Yeah, I've tried like Asian cuisine, um, like Chinese, um, the Neoromian, and um, Korean foods, such as like the um, ganja tang, which is like pork, uh, pork bone soup. Mm -hmm. um, oh, that's nice too. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. they're like they're fun to make, and I also like to cook with my mom too, and mm. it's just fun. Yeah. yeah, it is. Oh, wow. That's very nice. That's good. I should encourage my son to cook. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that's, that's nice. So are you, are you excited for school? Um, I'm very excited to go back to school. You know, um, I love to teach in a class. You know, in the classroom and uh, interact with you guys. You know, every time I sit in a stay in the classroom with my students, I'm very happy, no matter what they behave. <laughs> so I'm very happy. But it's kind of like it's just the the social distant things that make things so stressful. Also, I will be cold feeling like you know you have to make uh, like every classroom have the the table spread out, you only have like a 15 student and then everyone wear mask and then we have to do cleaning all the time. You know, so many things add in. So other than that, I'm really excited to see, you know, we can go home, go, you know, go, go back to school, you know. You know, finally after six months, so we can see each other, like uh, talking, you know, it, online, it, it is hard. You can see in the spring, not many people. <laughs> really talk so so you know, I, I loved it in the, in the school so I hope we can have a you know a, a good year but you know everything is different like this year like nobody know and then the way we're teaching is like a very new it's like a back to the traditional way because so many restrictions so I still hope you know we can have a good experience and we can uh, you know, learn, but at the same time, keep ourselves safe. You know, safety is the most important thing. Safety, happy, and before we learn. Yeah. So that's why I'm going to tell my student, like, uh, safe, feel safe, feel love, feel happy before, feel, you know, learning the content. Are you teaching the sophomores? No, I'm teaching uh, Chinese two and three this year. So period A and I, two and three. So, so it's, it's a freshman. Yeah, so I, I, I teach like um, still like a junior and sophomore and you will have a Miss Fu. Yeah. Again this year, yeah. We, are, we have fun, we already create a lesson and nice. We'll try out. We'll try to show off our technician. We learn. <laughs> but it will be. I will. I this year I want to tell everyone. Like in my class, is show off. You know, show off. Make mistake. Try out. Show off. <laughs> so you like you. It's good. You 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 should tell like many like a, you know the friends like a, you know be more confident like a show off. You know because after so many months quarantine. I feel like maybe some of you like feel like very at home one, like a more shy, doesn't want to really speak out. And then, you know, and especially, especially this time we need to speak out and then we know the express our feeling, it will be more healthy. Yeah. Yeah, so it's good you do this kind of a project to, to have the positive influence. Yeah, I think it's a great way for me to get out of my comfort zone as well. 
and also to hear about other people's um, perspectives. And um, I think it's a great way to like promote wellness too. And mm -hmm. yeah, it's fun being. <laughs> yeah, and then I very good. Um, I think it's a very good deal of thinking is get out of the comfort zone. It's a very, very important. And I think that's the key element to be successful. So we always need to like uh, get out of our comfort zone to challenge ourselves. And then you make yourself more active and more um, accomplished. That's how I feel. So get out of the comfort zone. Yeah, tell you, yeah, tell everyone to get out. Because now I think many students, or including me, the comfort zone is stay in our room and in front of our computer, not anywhere, don't talk, don't see. <laughs> but it's good to get out of it, yeah. So very good, good job. Thank you. Yeah, keep doing that. So it will keep you busy. You keep learning, and then you f don't worry that much. Yeah. 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 You, I feel like uh, I, in Chinese we say a word like uh, 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 what, what do I say? Uh, when you think too much, you think too much because you read less. You think too much, think too much because you read too much. So, because you didn't read, you think too much, and then you end up like a depressed, worry. So it's better to keep learning. But it, it needs to be like a time management. I know, I know, I think everyone will be very busy this year because the new routine, everything's new, and the schedule, everything, and then what we used to do is different, like, a, what, like a you as student. What you learn, the way you're learning is different. So you might, this year, like you're gonna blend it the in-person in class learning with the online learning. So there will be two different ways to learning. So you will feel very busy and overwhelming because you are making the transition. So the self-management is very, very important. The time management. Maybe you can do a, 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 a video to show people how to do the time management. You know, how to manage the time, how to take notes, how to do the schedule. Because I can see people get lost, some students, or some people get lost because there are so many, you know, they have so many classes in the Google Classroom and every teacher is posting things every day and the emails, so many. So how to you to management and organize is very important. So as long as you can organize, you will feel easier. If you, you are not organized, you no matter how the less the work you have, you will still feel overwhelmed. So maybe you can do a video like uh, tell people, okay, that's how I organize my daily schedule, how I how I organize the homework, mm -hmm. uh, organize this assignment. That's very important. And another thing you can do is also the video like uh, how to see the Google Classroom, you know, how to use Google Classroom. You know, some people, they are overwhelmed. They don't know, you know, where to see this and that. I will do video to tell my student too, but yeah, that's a good thing. Like a time management, I think it's the important thing to, people might be interesting. Like it's a positive thing too. So yeah, that's why I think it's very mm, organized management, yeah. So I have one more, one more question. Um, yeah. Like, what are some tips you give to like a beginner student, like who's learning Chinese? Like, what would you say like the best way to learn fast? Um, the tips I would say like um, at the beginner is like uh, still listen and open your mouth. You know, copy. You know, call if you don't know you you copy or follow what the people say, you know, at the beginning. Um, it is like uh, to learn how to sound, pronunciate at the beginning. And um, also will be listen to some music. Okay, um, watch watch movie might be too much. Sometimes if there's no um, translation or subtitle. So, but still, um, I think the learning language, the most important thing is you listen, you open your mouth. You, you, you follow what people say and then practice. 
practice is, you know, learning is practice is very important. Even like you talk to yourself, like ni hao, ni hao. You keep saying ni hao, zai jian. You will say, keep used to say it. So um, I want to say um, uh, this summer, I, I, there's a very successful um, uh, American student, American teacher who learned Chinese very well, and he become a Chinese teacher. So he speak, I think he speak uh, better, than, better than many of Chinese, very standard Chinese pronunciation. So he say, actually, the Chinese is not difficult. Chinese just distinct, you know, distinct. It means different from English. So don't think it's difficult. It's not difficult. We have the, the same, the structure or it's very logic like English. It's just distinct. So you believe you can do it, just speak out. You know, always speak, talk, open your mouth. It's the best way to, to learn language. Shia, I just want to say thank you for your time and I hope to see you soon in school. <laughs> Okay, I will see you soon in the school. Okay, say hi to your, your family and say hi to your friends. All right? Okay, stay Thank well. You. Okay, good luck for the new year, new school year.